All right, guys, I broke my squash. So what we got to do is take some parafilm, which is no different than grafting tape. It's just this uh, stretchy kind of material uh, tape that you get. And um, I use it for mushrooms, growing mushrooms and culturing mushrooms, uh, mycelium actually, but um, it's the same thing. So it's just real stretchy. So it, it creates a moisture barrier without hurting the plant and putting harsh chemicals on it, um, like a lot of tapes do. So what we've got here is um, where I, I broke my squash, but it's still connected. And all we have to do is reconnect the cambium layers, which is the outer layer under the skin. So if we just line them up, the plant will heal itself if we connect the cambium tissue um, like it was. So we basically just need to get it out just a little bit. And if we can just pull it out just a hair there, only because um, it's buried in the compost here, so at the bottom. And I've got this lattice work I'm trying to work around. You guys can see I'm trying to get the tape um, so that it covers both sides like this. And then you pull it, and that stretchy stretching effect on it is what is going to create that moisture barrier all the way around. So the tension is very important. But don't get it so tense that you break it. This is the trick. So we're just wrapping it around. And I'm going to pull it a little bit just to give it a little bit of a, a stretch to it. Because that is, like I said, what's going to really create that moisture barrier. If I can get it a little bit tighter. It's, it's in there to the point where it's really hard to... If you guys can see that, it's hard to um, get my fingers all the way in there. And get the tape behind the, the plant. So that looks pretty, it looks better than it was anyway. So that'll work. And then we just need to hold that on there with something. So I've got some masking tape. Just to put one little strip around it. Like so. And go in the same direction that you wrap the parafilm. It doesn't have to be pretty but it does stay on a little better if it's a little bit pretty. So. Craftsmanship is important, and plant care is a part of permaculture. So make sure you care for your plants, guys. So we just need to hold this up now um, to keep it from bending down. So this stick will work right here underneath. You guys can see. And then we're just going to tape the squash to the stick. So the, um, the parafilm only lasts about a year uh, in sunlight, but the plant won't live that long. This is an annual, so it's going to die in the fall anyway, or maybe even halfway through the summer if we get squash borer, borers, uh, squash borer moths flying around. They lay the eggs and bore into it. I made a video about that, guys. If you want to see, we got squash borer eggs popping up on our plants now, so that's something interesting. And I apologize about all the wind today. It's a very windy day. But that's one of the reasons why I needed to get this done so the wind wouldn't detach the plant and break it off completely. As long as it had that piece of cambium tissue um, on the bottom where it was connected, it can still make an exchange of, of moisture from the roots up to the, the top of the plant. Um, so that's where the hormone exchange happens between the tip of the plant and the roots. And there's constantly um, some uh, liquid going back and forth and chemicals going back and forth and hormones. They're exchanging hormones one to the other. So as long as it can take uh, get that flow um, it'll stay alive so it wasn't completely girdled and that's where you cut the cambium layer all the way around the plant um, and that's called girdling a lot of landscapers do that when they landscape yards and uh, what that does is it kills the plant because it, it makes it so that the, the plant can't transport nutrients and water from the bottom where the roots are up to the top the top foliage we also want to take off all the blooms so that the plant puts all its energy into uh, healing itself here to fusing itself back together so not so much the the foliage I already trimmed these so this is perfect in terms of the amount of foliage to take off so that it focuses uh, more on down here and actually I probably shouldn't have taken as much foliage off as I should have or as I did uh, because the leaves were still healthy and that could have created more energy more uh, more cells being created to put into uh, regenerating this part of the stem so really uh, we just need to focus the energy in that direction instead of blooms so I wanted to tell you that so that you know to take off some of the blooms when the plants are hurting um, or because they, you don't want them to put the energy into creating blooms and fruit because then they'll stop putting the energy into creating foliage and uh, doing things like healing the stem perfect okay excellent so okay guys this is Tom permaculture Wilmington thank you so much